Hey guys, I know it's been a while, I'm back. I got a new flat iron, it's time to redo my hair. I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how I use this flat iron, the type of flat iron I use. It's bomb as hell, FYI. But either way it goes, I just figured I'd show you guys some of the methods and some of the products I use to get the results that I like. Stay tuned. Cue the intro! So yeah, before I go ahead and um, get into everything with the flat ironing and the blow drying and all of that, you want to make sure that your hair is well prepped. Um, and my hair has been like this for about three weeks now, you know, but it's time to give it some TLC. So what I like to do is I like to pre-poo. And what basically that is, is prepping your hair for the shampoo that can be harsh. Mind you, I don't use any shampoos that have sulfates or nothing in, like that. I'll show y'all my uh, shampoo when I get to it or whatever. But right now, I'm going to pre-poo my hair. I'm using Suave Ultra Sleek and Smooth. Uh, it's pretty dope. I like it. You know, like, um, it makes your hair, like, really, really, really soft. But I use it primarily just for a pre-poo because my conditioner... Uh, after I shampoo my hair, I use a deep conditioner, and I'll show y'all that product when I get to it, too. But uh, one thing I would recommend definitely before you go ahead and um, start dealing with your hair, my hair is already kind of straight, nappy is one of them right about now. But still, you want to make sure you comb, get you some of the, uh, the shed hair because your hair does shed every day. So get some of the shed hair out, some of the um, tangles, if any. And um, I like to part mine in um, four quadrants. All across my head, um, horizontal and vertical, you know, going across my head. And um, I use clips, but what I do is I clip them up and then I take a plastic bag and wrap and wrap my hair up in this. I, I seal it real good with the plastic bag. And then I take a old scully. Um, it's somewhere upstairs, but I take a old scully, then I put that over my hair and let it pre let that set in for about 30 minutes. I might go play the game, kick some ass online, and then come back, um, rinse it out, then wash my hair, and then I use other. I go ahead and put it in a deep conditioner and let that set for a good while too. It's Sunday, so I ain't got shit else to do but to tend to my hair. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So a lot of people don't know about the pre-poo, but what it does essentially is help retain moisture and detangle your hair. Seeing as I'm coming from an old uh, flat iron uh, anyway or old press I'm just trying to make sure that I have the best type of shield against the stripping and damaging effects of just shampooing in general <laughs> alright so you know I finished with my uh, my pre-poo I'm gonna let that set in for a little while and I'll probably leave it in for about 25-30 minutes and pour me a little bit of Ciroc in the meantime in between time and uh yeah See y'all back after this finish. Alright guys, so I'm back. I've let the pre-poo marinate under this bag and uh, skull cap for a few minutes now. It's been probably about 35 minutes in. Um, I just, before I wash everything out, I want to uh, let you guys know the type of shampoo I'll be using. It's the Chi Keratin uh, version of this. Uh, I like it. it. Doesn't have any parabens, no sulfates, and it really gets my hair really squeaky clean. Um, because I'll sometimes go a month to two months, uh, depending upon the type of style. Like if I have braids, I'll stretch that out for about two months. And if I uh, just blow my dry hair, my uh, if I just blow dry my hair, or if I just straighten it and wear it in any particular type of style that isn't braids. I might go three weeks. Like the hair that I am working on today is three weeks old hair. So long story short, I like this because it does get any build up, any uh, flakes from the scalp or anything like that. It gets it off of the. Uh... But going forward, I probably won't use this because uh, I've used other shampoos in the past that are more moisturizing than this, and I'll probably revert back to those or find other ones that particularly cater to hair that needs that additional boost of moisture that also doesn't have parabens or sulfates so 
but I'm not going to just throw this away because I have it and I still have about a half a bottle left. So in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to use it until it's gone because we just don't waste money around here. And the deep conditioner I've used is from the Shea Moisture line and also this doesn't have parabens or sulfates or coloring or anything like that. And um, I really like this generally in the past. I've always used my own sort of deep conditioner. You know, I've done hot oil treatments or just slept in conditioner literally like overnight. But this is the first one I've actually invested in and it's one of my favorite. I'll probably use this again, but I like to try other ones. So when I run out, I'll probably do a review on another deep conditioner. But at, e at the end of the day, I'm definitely a fan of this deep conditioner, especially since I didn't have to. Uh, it does. It, I don't have to leave it in all day. Like I might leave this in 15, 20 minutes, and my hair is like butter. It's just amazing. All right, so I'm gonna wash this out and um, shampoo, and then we'll get to the blow dryer. Yeah. All right, guys, as you can see here, I still have the same four clips and the same four quadrants in order to keep my hair sectioned and detangled, even through the shampoo process. All right, so I'm all through rinsing out the pre-poo and the shampoo, and now I'm going to put in the deep conditioner. And as you can see, I still have my hair in the same four quadrants I initially parted with, uh, just for manageability. So, without further ado. Okay, so once I add the deep conditioner, I like to kind of like twist my hair and like little bantu knots and clip them up still keeping them detangled and um, trying to smooth the deep conditioner all the way down to the end really focus on your ends because it's the oldest part of your hair and then get go through all of the parts and make sure that you put enough deep conditioner there and wrap it up and let it set all right guys so i'm back i just want to let you guys know before i start blow drying what i'll be using i'll be using this blow dry attic i found it on amazon because i no longer can seem to come across it in sally's um yeah it's supposed to reduce breakage up to 87 percent i mean and i've used it before i like it because it moisturizes your hair but it's lightweight so it's not extremely heavy as long as you don't use too much of it so a dime to a quarter size amount depending upon uh how much hair you have um i probably use like a dime size amount in each quadrant of my hair that i still got them in four quadrants so yeah that's what i would recommend but um yeah i like this and i just want to let you guys know that i'll be using this before i start flat ironing blow drying or any adding any heat because it does have heat protection Especially, you know, regardless if you're natural or not, you definitely want to make sure that you preserve your ends and just the rest of your hair strands <laughs> with some sort of heat protecting if you're adding any type of heat. And for the results I want, I need heat. Alright guys, so yeah, we're upstairs now. One of the other products that I use when I, um, like dealing with my hair, whether I'm going to get it braided or I'm going to straighten it, I use Cheese Keratin Mist. Um, I like it because I feel like it uh, it does give an added protection for the strands on your hair in regards to breakage. It gives a little bit more strength, but at the same time, it doesn't affect, you know, any type of style that you're going to have. Like, if you're looking for something that your hair will move, it won't really bother it. So that's why I use that as well. And like I said, it's blow dry addict, so I add like a qu quarter size amount to like each quadrant because my hair is really thick and shrinkage is real as y'all can see so I just um put it in really well and make sure I get it in each section and like as you can see like you don't even see the product in my hair like it's it's already absorbed it like everybody hair loves it you know and you know your hair will drink it up so depending upon your texture of hair, I would definitely um, not try not to be too liberal with the amounts that you put. Like it, uh, a, a little bit goes a long way. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it to all uh, four quadrants of my hair, the other three remaining ones, and I'm going to uh, blow dry my hair, and I'll show you the brush that I'll be using. Alright, so the way that I, I use this brush that I told you guys about, um, it, it can be a bit time consuming, but what I like to do is 
almost similar to flat ironing. I like working in smaller sections. So yeah, yeah, I have my hair uh, parted in four quadrants, but at the same time, in each quadrant, I take a little piece and blow dry my hair. So that way, it'll get it as straight as possible, and it prevents less passes that I have to use with my flat iron. And I'll explain when I get there. Okay, so with this brush, it has tourmaline plates, which um, they actually heat up. And so it kind of works in conjunction with your blow dryer, making it so that you don't have to go and uh, go over a section of hair multiple times. And while it may be time consuming using this brush, it does give better results. Okay guys, so I've blow dried my hair and this is the flat iron that I'm going to be using. I've used it once before, like I said, I got it about three weeks ago. It's the Nano Titanium what, Cool Mist Iron. And um, basically it has like a water reservoir. It looks like this. You add water to it and um, Long story short, it's supposed to be used with distilled water, but I just use regular old purified drinking water. So I feel like as long as it's anything but uh, your tap water, because you can have hard water deposits, and I don't know, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to risk messing up the flat iron, but I also don't want to uh, risk the best possible results that I would have um, with this flat iron. So it goes up to 450 degrees and it's supposed to, it has 77% more protection from breakage, 49% uh, smoother, 30% improved hair manageability, and 22% more shine. So yeah, I can attest to all of those things and I'm going to show you guys just how much. I also am going to use, I've been using a lot of Chi products as you can see, but I'm going to be using the Chi Keratin line for the Silk Infusion. It's um, basically a serum. I'm going to use that all over my head and I'm going to go ahead and get with the flat iron. Stay tuned. Okay, so I put the serum in my hair. I am heating up flat iron to 450. Um, I've used an ample amount of heat protection, so I'm not afraid of the heat. Um, I've done it before, and as you all can see, my hair reverts just fine. And I, it doesn't give me any heat damage. Uh, I've added the reservoir. Um, I will be using the same straightening brush to do the chase method with my hair as I straighten it. I'll be sectioning my I won't really be sectioning my hair, but I'll be taking small pieces and flat iron as I go because the smaller sections that you use to straighten your hair, I feel like the better results you'll see. Okay, so something I found out since I've been straightening my hair is that while a lot of people swear by using a uh, fine tooth comb or a rat tail comb to use as the, for the chase method, I've discovered that using a straightening brush or a, a nice brush of any sort will actually distribute hair evenly to the, your ends and your, make your, hair, your ends of your hair look a lot sleeker because sometimes a fine tooth comb won't distribute the heat evenly and it'll turn out looking sometimes a little crusty, a little dusty and looking like you'll need a trim when in fact you may not. So I like to use the straightening brush. It has yielded awesome results for me. And I'll leave everything in the description box below for everything that I used in this video. Alright guys, so I finished flat ironing my hair. And um, yeah. I, just like last time, I'm impressed with the results. It um, definitely, my hair, my hair, my hair really feels moisturized. Like I feel like steam that this flat iron produces is very beneficial to the health of my hair. Um, I'll, you know, I'll probably 
wear it a few different types of ways. I'll make a video on that, just so the versatility of having straight hair. Not that having curly hair or, you know, or ha hair that isn't flat iron or blown out or just straightened isn't versatile neither. I'm not making that stance. I'm just saying that there's a few styles that um, it's easy, it's pretty to go and easy to maintain throughout the time that you have your hair straight until the next wash. Um, if you guys like what you saw, definitely uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, and if you have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Um, and if there's anything that you all could suggest, um, any products, any um, something I could do better, um, from as far as doing my hair to even just footage, let me know. And in any event. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for visiting the Landiverse. Until next time, later.